You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me. Please, Mother Nature. I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker. Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. Let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh m Mother Nature told me to expect you, uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our, uh, uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, a, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get going! <laughs> oh, I see. First day and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers or I'll see you never get a promotion back to a uh, uh, woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues! <laughs> I knew you were a sucker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Hey, but you ain't uh, how did you... Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. You're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You. Uh, busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you Nimrod! This was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. He sure is heavy. <sighs> so long, Mac. Beauty. But, uh, you're up to something, Woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon. Apparently, we have some competition from these guys. You are swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon. Step right up, step right up. Free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up. Free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along. No shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, 
Just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> You've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, Joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, I, well but, but I've already promoted him. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature! Why, what a pleasant surprise. I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to peck. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Woo! Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, Woodpecker, I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second! Wait, wait, wait! Don't leave me like this! No! <laughs> Sail the seas. See the world. Free grub! Oh boy, that's for me! <laughs> Where's all the grub? Waits for me! You got the wrong sailor! Ooh, a costume sea party. Cha-cha-cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call! The food line! Okey? Yeah. Corky? Hello. Thompson? Thompson. <laughs> Thompson? Oh, Thompson! Thompson! <laughs> and someone Captain Redwood calls your name Thompson? Hold on. I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up at the dock like you wanted? Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. <laughs> If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sailing name. Uh, but where's your sea leg? S sea leg? Aye, sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. I've got a sea leg. I've got two good ones about left and for a He's not a pirate, Captain. No, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Right, Get my right, back his sword! He be the infamous pirate, Woody Muckpacker, scourge of the seven seas. That's gotta hurt. Boys, we got us a stowaway. And you know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no not as such, no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should... Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, boy! Let's tar and feather him! But I've already got feathers. Oh, feathers. No. Ah, and we don't have no tar. Take
take him to the rack! Yay! Time to the rack! Aw, <laughs> oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, lad lover. Hmm. I mean, arr. The plank! Will every walk the plank? The plank, the plank, the plank! All righty. Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stickhead woodpecker! Oh. Look! Ooh, pretty. Uh, can you do a skull and crossbones? Ah, ah, there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. Have we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -ho song? Oh, I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. What about a mutiny? Oh, what's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about we have a mutiny party? Mutiny, mutiny, mutiny! Oh, I love a good mutiny, Arthur. No, why you? You'll pay for this. All right, swabbies. I'm Captain now, and I say we head for sure. Bye. Bye-bye now. See ya. Hate to be ya. Good riddance. So long. Goodbye. See you later. So long. Huh? Oh, boy. Free grab. Smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! The pirates! And the ships! With the rack! And the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally... They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Ghost pirates! <laughs> Crazy woodpecker. No! Wait! Oh, no. Not again. Be my imagination. Hmm? Now I heard something for sure that time. Now where did that spy guy go? Psst. Traveler. Me? Yes, you. How would you like a free ocean cruise? A free cruise? Hey, what's the catch? No catch. You must simply carry a briefcase. But I don't own a briefcase. How about a case of briefs? Never let this out of your sight. National security depends on it. National security? You'll sail first class. On board, you'll meet your contact. How the heck do I know who the contact? Good question. You'll know her by her flaming red hair. The sooner I meet up with that redhead, the sooner I can unload this case and get on with my cruise. 
What do you know? The top secret case is now being transported by a total amateur. This'll be like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> this magnet ought to pull his chain real good. Oh, miss, I'm parched. as it could have been. Ha <laughs> ha 
Salon is killing my wig shop, Khan. I gotta get me some of her customers. Oh, a day of beauty. <laughs> Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me! Please, Winnie! You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give them a shampoo that'll make them wig out for sure. <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. in the mirror. Can I have a look too? experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I 
I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yo-ho! A Winnie! Huh. She must have left. All the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you gotta know how to cut it. This buzzard's gonna get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait! I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard, Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit. Caught in the act. All this in the name of dirty wig money. <laughs> oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it. Go on, pretty boy. Shut up! and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Ach, what a funny find heel and day for a race at the Tartan Speedway. The engines are rumbling hot, and the drum and the cheetahs have come to win. Here comes Muddy Woodpecker now. This laddie comes from a long line of Scottish race car drivers, he does. But no, Mac Pecker has ever been able to win this particular heel and race. You know, he's right. Oh, it was my great grandpappy, Rims MacPecker, who was done in on this very course. It was 70 years ago today that the treacherous Mist o' the Moors on turn 13 ended his career. And since that day, no MacPecker has ever attempted to race this course. Until now, that is. I'll win it for you, Gramps. Wait and see. Looks like I got me some competition. Well, not for long. Speed wheel 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the last laugh's gonna be on you, Woodpecker. Cause we're coming up to Koi 13, the Mist Odom Moors Hazard. And no Mac Pecker has ever survived that. Get out of town. It's a bright, sunny afternoon. There won't be any mist on that turn today. <laughs> Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. A shortcut to the mist of the moor's turn? For cheetahs only? Hey, that's me! <laughs> My mist maker is pumping. And now, with a little cement, I'll make this fog bank hotter than geometry. Hey, Great Gramps, this is for you. That's me great grand boy. <laughs> That was most chivalrous to help us me, as thou didst. I grant thee ten tickets each for thy noble actions. Wow! You're the best of Chester. Hear ye, hear ye. Whosoever winneth the most prize tickets shall be crowned king and queen of the fair. Let the games be. Billy the bully, and that motor mouth, Louie. What I tell you, wooden heads, I was going to do to you next time I saw you. Um, buy us lunch? Ah, uh, take us out to the ball game? Uh, no, no, no. Lunch does not seem. And and and, and ball games. Oh, I am certain it was something of a bad nature. Harm was involved, Billy. Oh yes, uh, possibly plucking. Nah, you said we'd go swing dancing. <laughs> yeah, but we'll take a rain check. 
swing dancing is just so not me, Louie. Hey, wait a minute! Bird brains, who's what? Load and fire, Louis. thought I looked good in a cape and crown. My, that's some chivalry of shooting, young archer. Twenty tickets for thee. Billy, Billy, we're gonna be king! We're gonna be king! Billy? King this! Oh, 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 oh. Get us ready, young knights, for ye mighty log rolling competition. Okay. I'll keep them two moat dopes busy up top while you tip them over from down below, Louie. Billy, it is brilliant. I am in awe of your plans, struck with deep and at times disturbing amazement. Frankly, I don't really see how I hope you could do this. Remember, knights, you can only attack your opponent with your pugil sticks. When I hit you with my puking stick, you'll be throwing up things you ain't in kindergarten. <laughs> Uh, is that the best you can do? <laughs> Looks like I won. I think something's going on down under. <laughs> Twenty tickets for the winners! <laughs> so, Louie, you wanna be king of this joint? Oh, Billy, I would love use more of my favorite pickle and peanut butter croissants if this were indeed the thing you could do for me. And now, the final game! Whosoever can defeat the evil Black Knight, uh, me, and get into Yon Castle will receive... Ah! What happened? Was that part of the game? I don't know. Billy, you are so smart. <laughs> Ow! Oh, 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 my nose. We well, can play the new walk straight. It looks like Sir Chester has suddenly become Sir Freeback. And Splinter, you win free Chester the Jester event. Twenty more tickets. No! Oh, please! Don't give them all those tickets! You can't! You can't! You can't! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I tied you up, Chester. I don't know. Louie! He doesn't know what he's saying. He ate some bad fish. <laughs> I just want to be king! I want to! I want to! I want to! I want to! <laughs> <laughs> Chester, we want Billy and Louie to have our Whoa. tickets. Yeah, we're willing to forgive and forget. Oh, well, that's the most chivalrous thing I've ever seen. It. To the king's coronation! Your subjects clamor for you, Billy. I told you, I ain't coming out. <laughs> I'll get you, woodpeckers. <laughs> 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 
Cleaning is done. I feel so peaceful when everything is in its place. Hi, neighbor. Time to return some stuff I buy. No! Nice catch, Wally. Thanks for nothing. If you never darken my door again, it'll be too soon, Woodpecker. Spring snowstorm has hit the Tri County area. Neighbors should look out for one another as this storm could last for a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, this can't happen. Oh, no, 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 weeks, no, weeks. Oh, no, 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 For once, I agree with you, Wally. I'll go crazy in this place that long. I'll go to the rubber room. Okay, listen here, Woodpecker. If you gotta be a guest in my house, then you live by my Swedish cleanliness code, you bet. Look, I didn't ask to get stuck here either. So just don't uh, get me involved in any of your Swedish shenanigans and you won't even know I'm here. It's a deal. This week on As the Bread Rises, Mike and Michelle realize nothing makes their love stronger than getting abducted. Wally, the TV's gone out from the storm. What will we do with no TV? I don't care what you do. <laughs> Poof! You snow more with the noisy and the messy, yeah? Must be calm. Uh, let me just, uh, good as new. Woodpecker! Enough with the boom boom twang. Hey, Wally, what are you doing? I'm alphabetizing all my photo slides by the articles of clothing I was wearing in each shot. I'm going to check the order if you'd like to watch. Gee, can I? Yeah, and here I am at Mount Sweetmore in my checkered suit. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'll never forget this one. The National Fjord watching show where I wore my fuchsia parachute pants every day. Oh yeah, here I am at the Swedish leg waxing competition in my daisy yellow fisherman's hat. <gasps> Wait a minute! This slide is out of order! Oh no, now we gotta start at the beginning again. Yeah. Wally, buddy, I can't take it anymore. Pull yourself together, woodpecker. <laughs> Want now, Woodpecker? Wanna play sharks? Be not playing sharks. <laughs> Come on, Wally, buddy. We've been cooped up here for a week. 
You'll love it. The ground is the sea, and the furniture is the land. Yeah, sure. So, uh, even this coffee table is land? You are a natural. Now just stay out of the water, or else. Or else what? Or else the shark will get you. Shark? Shark! I help you, little buddy. Childhood crib in the attic. Shark cage. Fire. We did it. We beat the shark. We beat the shark. I it was a great game. <gasps> Wally! Look! Woo-hoo! Snow's gone and so am I! Oh, yoinky doinky. Come on, Wally! Think of that shark mounted over the fireplace! <laughs> How about you mounted over the fireplace? with more snow. Ah, there's nothing like a little more winter to really bring people together. Ah, there's nothing like a trip to a state park, home of our gentle forest friends. Do not feed the bears. Do not talk to the bears. Do not even think about bears. Huh? Do not put up a fight. Hey, I'm driving here, bub. No, I'm driving here. Finally put him away when you testify at the trial tomorrow, Mr. Woodpecker. But I can't testify! Big Al could have friends. We promise to keep you safe and under police protection. I can't do it, man! I think you'll find the safe house accommodations aren't too shabby. Woohoo! Beauty calls. Take care of the witness. <laughs> hey, buddy. Wanna play concentration? Soon as I sink this shot, Ossifer. Yep, I'm as safe as a bug in a rug with all this protection. Four! <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, buddy. So, uh, you ready to lose your shorts? <laughs> Keep them away. 
Algae's murder. We need some pool toys. <laughs> gotcha. Wow! This pool toy sprang a leak. Securing the perimeter. I feel safer already. It's just me. Complimentary fruit from the precinct. Oh, how thoughtful. End of my shift. See ya, buddy. <gasps> That's no fruit basket. Let me out! Shut off. Christians to detonation. Kiss yourself goodbye. It's for you. No, you. No, you. Fine. You're not gonna be the first witness I've ever missed. I'm the best there is in the business. I have no equal. There is none greater than I! Would you get the door, please? <laughs> Your Honor, that's the guy who stole my car. And that's the guy he hired to make sure I didn't make it here to say that's the guy who stole my car. This is a oh, tissue of lies! Can you prove he tried to stop you from getting here today, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> Exhibit A. Need I say more? What do you learn? It would be a pleasure to testify against him at the next trial. Trial is set for a week from tomorrow. Of course, we're going to have to put you in another safe house, Woody. No problemo. And here's the one I want. Yep, a guy could get used to this kind of justice. <laughs> Stop the presses, boss. The culinary critic will have a review of Winnie's Big City Bistro in no time. Big City, my foot. These small town places are never like the joints in the big city. I'm sure it'll close down just like all the other restaurants do after I review them. <laughs> but enough dilly dallying. I've got a job to do. Ta da! My first day in business. It's so exciting being a restaurateur. Why, howdy and hi there. I'm Sil. My first customer. <laughs> Whoops, be right back. <laughs> Winnie's Big City Bistro. Hi, Betty. What? The famous culinary critic is coming here today? <laughs> An inside tip? Uh-huh. Always comes in disguise, but uses double initials when placing a reservation. Von for Volley Volrus. Volley Volrus? Betty, double initials. It's the critic. Fame and fortune, here I come. 
Mr. Bolly Walrus, what a pleasure. I want the best food, with no salt. I am terribly allergic to the salt, yeah? And I also want a window seat, with clean window. Want window seat with clean window and hold the salt. Coming right up. Oh. Uh. Right this way, Mr. Walrus, to a wonderful seat and a perfect view. Excuse me, miss! I'll be back. How do you like Winnie's Big City Bistro so far? Look at this stain. I can't eat here. Oh, no, no, please wait. <laughs> at Winnie's Big City Bistro, the customer is always right. I'll be right back with appetizers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, waitress. Where are my appetizers? Coming! <laughs> Our appetizer of the day, sea salted calamari. I said no salt! Excuse me, I don't think I ordered this. <laughs> Gee, I, I guess if it's on you, then it's, it's, it's on us. <laughs> oh, calamari all over one customer, salt in the critic's food. Ma'am, I'm ready to order. <laughs> oh. I'll have some of this pasta. <laughs> and an extra serving of garlic bread. You're not the only person in this restaurant! Have a seat and I'll be right with you. Appetizers for the most discriminating appetite. Mmm. I'd like some of the pasta I smell. Uh, of course, sir. Oh, ma'am! Here! Good pasta. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the, the lobster at Winnie's Big City Bistro is fresher than anywhere else in town. So, what do you think? Miss, can I have some soup, please? Get one soup for you. Patress, there is the turf for my surf and turf. <laughs> Trust, I would like something else. How was your lobster? What else have you got that's good? Whoa! Uh, try this uh, and this uh, and these and those. Miss, miss, do you hear? Miss, it's too salty now. Miss. Uh, well, if that's all you have, then I'll be going. Wait, Mr. Walrus, uh, you haven't tasted uh, my soup. You're done, dearie. Oh. Uh, salt! My mother to do the salt! Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh. oh no! Everything is ruined! Help! This is the Big City Bistro! I've blown up the culinary critic! What are you talking about? I'm the culinary critic. I wore this disguise so I could get in partial service, which I must say I have. <gasps> You're the critic? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for the way I've treated you. Where's the fire? In my eyes, that's where. I'll give you water, you no good critic and bully. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. If there's anything I can do to make this up to you, Free dessert! Your own special reserve table! The truth is, I I was just working as hard as I could for a good review. And a good review you'll get. What? This place is amazing! 
It has all the hustle, the bustle, and the pesky patrons of the best big city restaurants. You liked it? The atmosphere was authentic. I can see the review now. Culinary critic raves. Winnie's Big City Bistro is perfect for people wanting a taste of the big city in their own backyard. Customers will be lining around the block. Newsflash, everybody. It's romantic. It's authentic. Daddy, it's you're not going to believe what happened. I'm a hit. <laughs>